yeah hi in this video i just uh, would like to show you the details of s for hana what is the sap usual gui options uh, you will be having and when you're going to the s for hana actually you can see um the, the there will be sap logon uh, should be upgraded as well which is a 760 so when i log in and uh, i'm going to use uh, my user id which is uh, Okay. So, you know, so you can see here so this is the basic feature so I would just would like to execute a normal uh, bl 3 n function um, let's say if we are having any old data in this you can see my company code is 04 I just uh, where is the execute button so when you see the law old version you can see somewhere here you know? but here you, you can't see uh, on, on this so you can see on the down here so this is the execution execute button to see the data so now if you want to go back how you will go back and uh, this is a this is not a going back this is actually scrolling uh, scrolling the uh, the button so you can see the display document uh, is this is the display document so where you can see the document overview so this is actually a change but uh, when it go to the display document uh, what you need to do is um, you just need to go go to document overview so then the system will show uh, the, the, the document overview here now I'm just going back back again so you see if you scroll down so the layout everything is is the same so this GUI version is changed a bit and uh, yeah if the people are very new yeah it's like um, you know you still need to uh, try to be most um, what I say you need to adapt uh, to these new features and otherwise um, if you really want to go back to uh, your old uh, let's say even though you are on HANA okay you are used to your old methods so let's say you don't like these screens and uh, um, let's say when you're seeing you can see the normal um, you know this is not a ALV so let's say if you would like to go to the ALV so here is the one you have a uh, more options so in the more options um, you can see what I, what I would like to uh, change under here uh, settings uh, here so I would like to change the layouts here instead of that um, switch list so when you go switch list you can see so this is a ALV view so in this ALV view yeah you can see um, the you can change what are the options uh, in the layout so what you can say is uh, now I just want to see the current layout so you see if you see this new version it is occupying uh, most of the screen you know, which actually I don't like it and uh, but I don't know about uh, some people whether they, they like it or not but it depends so now I would like to optimize this so let's say when I go to this variance and I would like to optimize so what this do when I do optimize it will only uh, stretch this column um, until you know um, you have the uh, values okay so I just uh, click OK so now you can see so previously it's occupied entire screen so now it is only occupying a, a bit of screen here so this is a bit not flexible for me so if you don't like this you just want to go back to the original views and uh, what you can do for that yeah so I just want to show you normal um, this is the people who are uh, came background uh, with the SAP they may be knowing it and uh, but the people who may be new to this as for HANA and don't know how to change 
this um, may not be aware of these options so what you can do here is you just need to go when you open your logon pad okay so if you open your logon pad go to the there's a three icons bar and where you can see options yeah so when you click on the options so when you go here visual designs yeah so in this you can see there is a theme and now i would like to use a classic theme okay and click apply and click ok so when we use this classic theme it's quite old so what you need to do you now you did some changes in your um, options so now you have to close the screen yeah so now let's say you open again if you double click it will open with the GUI with the old options yeah you see here so when you click on ok you see now you can see my version here is uh, actually as for HANA 1909 which is on premise yeah so now go to my user ID you can see so I am on HANA but uh, my version is different uh, the GUI is actually I would like to use only the old one now I go a BL3 on here so I use uh, my company code C04 you see even though you are using a world version um, uh, let's say old views and the options actually is not um, in your uh, previous ERP or um, ECC 7 it will not show like this so you can see here so it, you have an option and previously you, you actually you need to F4 to see the data it, it's not showing you here on the on the drop down yeah so now I choose here for and click on execute so you can see here this is how so now how to switch the layout so it's quite straightforward here from here because if you used to uh, you know uh, these screens so in the in the case of uh, your as for hana which is a fury version um maybe not friendly but i don't uh, say that okay don't use that go back to the old that doesn't make sense when we are on the new version but what i'm until you are adopting uh, with your new futures you still have flexibility to go back uh, to you know your old options maybe and 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 see uh, from here so let's say if you don't like this so you just want to change uh, uh, to the different one so even this is very old one I don't want to I, I want to change it and um, then you can go here again options then from the classic I would like to go to a, a little bit higher which is Kobo and apply here so click OK then close again and when you open you will be uh, seeing a different screen now yeah which is a uh, actually you can see which is a version which is a SAP logon 750 this should be yeah so now I click log on so I'm logging in using So you see this is actually your old one itself but uh, it's quite uh, so now I go zero four uh, yeah then click execute so you can still see like your existing version which is ECC 7 yeah this is how um, you can easily view the normal uh, GLine items uh, it between the old and the new and this is a just I'm trying to show you let's see when you go into the document view so it is not taking entire screen you still have some space here yeah it depends on on the house flexible here so now I just want to go to the document overview so you can see here so this is the document overview if you want to see the GL view yeah this is um, uh, and let's see what are the other ledgers and 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 yeah so you can see all these uh, options here so this since this is posted to all the ledgers maybe yeah you can see the view as a blank means it's posting to the 
all ledgers and um, yeah if you can uh, go to the here yeah I see it is updating to the all ledgers because you didn't have any ledger group specification and it is showing all the ledgers whatever um, they have created uh, uh, for this so you can see okay this is maybe posted with some uh, um, leading ledgers so this is the entry view and uh, this entry view and general ledger view actually applicable in the case of document splitting yeah so hope uh, this is a this is a, a small change as i am showing you here but there is also a, a different features i am going into maybe the nest sessions i recently got access to my um, the latest version of s for hana and instead of i'm um, teaching um, this old versions i'm using now and the new version how you can use uh, the s for hana and and how we can do the postings using s for hana maybe yeah i'm going into the details further later yeah so hope uh, if you like the videos and uh, please help to um, share to your friends and if you are interested in any specific topics i would recommend you just put some comment and uh, okay uh, how this works in as for hana and, and uh, i would like to you know um, post those videos as well from now onwards i'm more active uh, nowadays and uh, yeah i will try to uh, let's see how it works thank you